Shalom, Akiyam. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wahal Rakak Wadash, Barakata Akiyam. All right, I'm just coming back with another video here on my lunch break. Just going into uh, uh, watch the movie called Hereditary. It's on. It's out in theaters right now. Um, it's, it's a horror flick. Um, basically, it's refer. It, it has to do with uh, witches and you know um, evil spirits and things of that nature, and how basically these people. These witches, man. These warlocks are these vis these vessels that are that are uh, mediums. Th that shit's real, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not just because of the movie, but also the Bible, the Lashon Kadash, the Holy Word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, the Holy Tongue, which is the Hebrew, which is was written, which is what we have today in, in old English. English has verified that these people exist. Has verified that evil spirits. Entities, all right, uh, guides that the new agers like to call them exist, man. They're demons, evil spirits on the left hand side of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the creator of all things in the heavens and other realms, dimensions, all right. But those entities work through individual people, all right. Some don't know it, some are very aware of it. And they let allow these demons to to um, influence them to the point where they start making, you know, um, sacrifices. Um, you know, they, they go all out like they do at the Bohemian Grove. They do in their hit, hidden um, um, basements and things of that nature with orgies and, and lighting of candles, incense, you know, blood sacrifices. You know things of that nature. These things really happen and they exist. All right, and 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 to know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you have to know that. You have to know the good and evil. Just like King Solomon, King Solomon knew good and evil, but he chose the good. You see, and that's what we here at Great Millstone and the true followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are going to um, push forward. All right, the words of eternal life, the word. That is pure, all right. The purification of your souls, our minds, and things of that nature, all right. And that's what uh, was bringing me uh, to make this video. Uh, is because I had watched that movie, man. And and people, when you watch that movie, if you brothers do decide to watch it, man, you can't believe every single person that's smiling at you. That's that's just just so happy to see you. You know what I'm saying? To me. I've never liked that shit, you know. Yeah, I like people, you know, have a positive attitude and things that things of that nature. But some people, man, it's just too much, you know. And the scriptures say a, a wise man scarcely smile, you know. And a fool's full of laughter and things of that nature. So you gotta you gotta uh, use proper discernment and understand these individual people because you can't. You can't be associating yourself around a lot of people, man, because those people carry demons on them. They'll 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 um, cast spells on you, you know. Uh, like in, in in the Latin world, they got the the thing they call the ojo. You know, some people somebody will give you an evil eye, uh, and 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 you'll start feeling sick and you know weak and all kinds of shit because they're envy they envy you, you know, it's some form of jealousy. It's so powerful that it affects your spirit. You know, these things are real. You know, there's many other things out there that people, like I said, they, they, some of them, they're, they're aware and some aren't. But the ones that are aware, those are the ones that are working overtime, man. Those are the ones that are really dealing with demons. All right. They know them by names. They see apparitions. They're being possessed. They're used as a medium to speak to other people, fortune tellers, palm readers, you know, um, these different, uh, the different avenues they use to try to uh, convince people of their loved ones and things of that nature, not realizing that it's a demon, man. Okay? And these people are all here for real. All right? They're everywhere. They're in your, at your jobs. They're in your schools. They're in the school systems. They're lawyers. They're, they're judges. 
And these are the type of people that Yahweh Bashmael Shai is going to come back and kill, man. And that's who we're speaking up against. And we speak against them in great boldness, man. We don't give a fuck what, you, you, what type of power you, you, you act like you have, man. Or you claim you have. Don't you know that Yahweh Bashmael was shy? The creator of heaven and earth controls the left hand spirits, man. Don't you know that? To you damn demon devil worshippers. Alright, to you to you uh Satanists, to you Luciferians, alright, to you fucking people out there that believe in fairies and fucking uh, uh every fable that's put out there in the world. Don't you know Yahweh Bashmi Alshai controls all that stuff? Alright? And they don't have no power over the elect, man. Alright? And we will, we will, and, and, and will, and are condemning you witches, you warlocks. All right, so I'm gonna bring out Exodus 22 and 18. It says, "Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live." That's right, man. So immediately, the you witches are supposed to be die, put to death. However, it sees fit by you being ate up by dogs, or you being ripped apart by by uh, uh, other men. All right, or or, or or hung or burnt. However, however, it don't matter. We don't give a shit if you're a woman. Because you're you're an unclean spirit, man. You're an unclean vessel, which doesn't belong here on this earth, all right. Because earth, the Garden of Eden, is Idan, which means paradise or joyfulness or pleasure. All right, something that's unclean contaminates and makes it filthy, spreads disease. That's how these evil spirits are. That's how witches are, man. They bring a cancer into it, and it starts destroying everything, man. All right, there's many videos, movies of brothers I could, that, out there that can watch to prove that statement that I just made. All right, they will afflict and and and, and cause certain uh, bad dealings in a city or a town or a family. You know, but if you have the necessary tools, you can combat against their their. You can counterattack that that spell through prayer and fasting in the proper names. Yahweh Bashimia was shy, man. Where it's not going to fucking delusion, make you delusional. Like when the people use uh, Jesus Christ, they think those spirits are gone, but really they already fucking got in them, man. You know, you got to use the true names, the proper names of Yahweh Bashmi Shai to combat against these things. Pr prayer and fasting, man. All right, it says, "Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live." That's right. So you receive your condemnation, and it's coming to uh, it's coming to you soon, man. You're gonna be put to death. You will die. And you're going to know it. Alright. So from there. Let me go to. Let's see. There's another scripture. Where it says. Um, let's see which word can I use. Let's try neck. Roman. Sir. Alright. This is Deuteronomy 18. And 10 it says there shall not be found among you any of you that make it to son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that useth divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch right or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer all right necromancer is the ones that contact the dead they all do it. You know, it's not just one does one thing. They all have contribute into all that. You know what I'm saying? Some are greater at it and some less. But they all deal with the dead. They deal with um, um, the earth, the trees, the worshiping of, of, of things that have no profit. Idols, you know, using everything on the left hand side, what Yahweh Shai said not to do, you know. So it says, there should not be found among you any, anyone that uh, maketh the son or his daughter to pass through the fire. And like I said, it gave that list. Verse 12, for all that do these things are an abomination unto Yahweh. And because of these abominations, Yahweh thy power doth drive them out before thee. And we're, you will be driven out, man, by, by way of fire, by, by, by the way of the hand of a prophet that is endowed with power by Yahweh by Shemiah Washai. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy power, Yahweh. You see? For these nations which thou shalt possess hearken not hearkened unto observers of times and other di unto diviners. But as for thee, Yahweh thy power had not suffered thee to do so. You see? 
So there's never Yahweh Shemiah Washah has never given us the license to sin, nor the license to consult with familiar spirits, consult uh, counselors, things like that mediums, you know, necromancers, horoscope readers, all these different things out, out here that on left hand side, man. All right, now I'm gonna give an account of uh, it's uh, Sal. First Samuel 28 and uh, 8 it says and Sal disguised himself and put on other raiment and he went and two men with him and they came to the woman by night and he said I pray thee divine unto me by the familiar spirit and bring me him, bring me him up whom I shall name unto thee see so Sal was desperate because if you read the account of Sal King Sal the spirit left him Yahweh Shai told him through the mouth of the prophet Samuel that the spirit, this kingdom was going to be stripped away from him. And his spirit, the spirit of Yahweh Shai was leaving him and, 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 and a, a demon hopping onto him. That's why he was uh, trying to kill King David. So he got desperate and he consulted a woman with a familiar spirit, a witch. Right? Verse 9. And the woman said unto him, Behold, Thou knowest that what Sal had done, how he had cut off those that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. You see, so those those the demons knew that um, they would suffer, right? Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die? So those demons had fear in them. Right now they ain't, they ain't afraid, man. They 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 sh they show. Who and what they're about in the open, man. They get tattoos and and, and they get pentagrams stamped on their fucking heads of, of Baphomet, you know, uh, 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 inverted crosses or inverted crosses, inverted cr uh, stars, showing who they're who, who they're down with, man. You know, uh, uh, certain jewelry. You know, some of them keep it secret, and you won't find out until. You, you get into their homes You get out into your home And they're, they're, at that moment They're already putting curses on you And you're wondering Why certain things are happening You know But they knew they, they In the time of uh, Sal When Sal had driven them out They knew that they would They would die If they were to come out And be caught Verse 10 And Sal swear To her by the Lord Yahweh was saying As the Lord liveth There shall no punishment Happen to thee For this thing Then said the woman whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. All right. So, Samuel, he was trying to bring up the prophet Samuel. Okay. It says, And when the woman, that's right, because Samuel anointed King David to be king, because um, uh, Sal, Yahweh, Yahweh was going to strip away the spirit and the kingdom from um, Saul's hand because he was rebellious. All right. He said that a rebellion is a sin of witchcraft. You see? Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice. And the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. See, so this whole time he was he was tricking her into thinking that he was someone else, but once she saw Samuel, whatever happened between there, it was revealed to her that that he he was Sa uh, King Saul. So this this woman was not only just a, a familiar spirit, one that had a familiar spirit, but she was into necromancy. She had the ability to conjure spirits and things of that nature, man. She was a witch. She was a, everything in the nutshell. Which you call a witch Said Verse 13 And the king said unto her Be not afraid For what For what Sawest thou And the woman said unto Saul I saw gods Ascending out of the earth Which we know gods Is Allah Which is judges You know Powers What are you when you die From this fleshly body You're an you're energy all right, so your spirit goes back to Yahweh Shemuel Shai. It's in the third dimension in the spirit world. I saw God descending out of the earth, and he said unto her, "What form is he of?" And she said, "An old man cometh up, 
and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel, and he stooped his face to the ground and bowed himself. All right. So this woman was already going through that 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 uh that trance state. All right. She was already seeing things. That's why Saul bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou dis disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am sore distressed. For the Philistines make war against me, and, and Yahweh was departed from me, and answereth me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore have I called thee, that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Then, sa then said Samuel, Wherefore then dost thou ask of me, seeing the Lord has departed from thee and has become thy enemy. And and Yahweh and the and, and Yahweh had done to him as he spake by me. For Yahweh had rent the kingdom out of thy hand and given it to thy neighbor, even to David, because thou bowest because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord, nor executest his fierce wrath upon Amalek, because he saved um uh uh, uh King Hagag. The Hagagite, the Amalekite, was the Edomite. Where Samuel went and, and, and slew his ass, cut him into a thousand pieces, man. Therefore hath Yahweh done this thing unto thee this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines. And tomorrow shalt thou and thy sons be with me. So he was going to die. And Yahweh also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. So that's what it is. The, uh, the end result. For a witch and those that consult with witches is to be put to death. All right. So I hope it was edifying. Stay strong out there. Pray and fast. Uh, straighten the spirit through, through, through prayer and fasting, fellowshipping, reading, watching videos, being edified.